Mr. President, um, I'm, very, I'm very welcome to opportunity to of of stay with you this uh, afternoon uh, to give a great message all together. In a time in which politics think only about short term and try to change perspective and direction and discuss with a vision for the future. I think this is a great opportunity for everyone, particularly in Italy in this moment, in the earth of the uh, Mediterranean, in an area touched by the crisis of migration, and in the earth of uh, Europe, a region who become great region in a period in which the wall were destroyed. And now, after a long polemics, we see some countries who create new walls. So this is a time in which we have a lot of opportunities, a lot of problems, a lot of responsibility. Personally, I consider Agenda 2030 Agenda a great challenge for everyone. A new global deal about the future, about the care for our planet, but also at the same time an agenda able to give the opportunity to refuse a logic of fear in the politics today. Because this is a time in which a lot of people think the only asset for a politician is invest in the fear, refuse courage, refuse capacity to build a new strategy for the future, and invest in a consensus, very short term, in which only the preoccupation are able to win. For me, United Nations and the 2030 Agenda could play a crucial role if everyone invests in a different approach. So I consider this event very important, particularly in a moment in which Europe is facing an emergency response to humanitarian crisis. If you think this is the most important crisis, the most terrible crisis after Second World War II. And I think this is particularly true if you believe this time is time in which the people ask a different answer. But the lack of courage by politicians think European crisis of migration could be solved only with a, a tweet on the post on Facebook, on the polemic on TV. No. We need time. We need strategy. We need vision. Africa is the earth of our challenge for the next, not the next days, not the next tweet, but the next years. And as I said last year in Addis Ababa, I think everyone must, in, particularly for the donors' countries as Italy, this is the time to implement and to increase the money for ODA and international cooperation. This is a time in which the great organizations as G7, G20, and the other organizations give a priority in the agenda about these themes, these problems. Italy, in the next year, will host G7. And our priority will be exactly in the relation between international cooperation, fight against poverty, rights for women and children, create a new platform for values and at the same time create a new strategy for the biggest country in the capacity to combine together private and public investments 
social and infrastructure projects, also financial instruments. Last week, Italy proposed to European colleagues create a new platform for uh, African countries because I think uh, it's impossible uh, believe uh, the only way to reduce uh, the problem of migration uh, is uh, live along the other countries. As Italian people, we believe in the solidarity. Every day, our army saves a lot of people in the sea, in Mediterranean. But I think solidarity is not the only answer, is not the solution. We believe in solidarity and we continue to save people also alone, but we continue. At the same time, I think we need a strategy very efficient, and I am very glad about the first reaction of President of European Commission, Jean-Claude Juncker, who gave a message of sustain this battle, this Italian battle. Dear friends, Mr. President, I think Agenda 2030 is very important if finally forced up everyone to give a message of new strategy, not only in the Millennium uh, Goals, but in general in the human values who characterize our democracies and our institutions. This is a, a problem who ask us to a new agenda, domestic implementation, and for Italy this is a priority, but also at the same time a new agenda for the other countries. Let me conclude with a, a particularly underlying some considerations about uh, not only the biggest country, I think last year, during Expo in Milan, the Samoa Pathway follow-up conference led to adoption of the Milan Declaration. Italy gladly responded to request um, on a small island development state by organizing last month in Rome an international symposium, which is particularly dear to my country. I think we must consider together the Agenda 2030 for the Millennium Goals and at the same time the climate change and the initiative of tomorrow. Because I think this is the only way to engage together all the countries in a new approach in the climate change, in the ecosystem resilience, in the food and energy security, in the access to water, in the construction of economy Sustainable, sustainability economies in a moment in which a lot of people think this is not possible. This is time to act, and I consider a particular priority for my country and myself not only stay with you today and tomorrow, but also give a message of priority during the next G7 next year exactly for the reason we explain it this afternoon. If everyone believe possible, build an idea focused on courage and not fear, I think this is the only way to come back to believe in the politics in a moment in which a lot of people think politics is not the solution. I consider a great service to be a politician, but at the same time, I know the concretization of this approach is a priority for my country and for myself. Good luck to everyone.